In this video, I will walk you through how you can build an advanced agent on Make that uses OpenAI message in this system. So before I go into it, let me give you a bit of what more detail around what we're doing here. In OpenAI platform, you are having these assistants. And this is, by the way, the assistant ID already. And in here, you can give system instructions to the assistant. So in here, it's an advanced HR manager. And in this HR manager, you provide several fields and you need to provide a rating. So what we're doing here is now we need to, of course, fill this advanced HR manager with real time data. And now we could use a prompt and we could always attach it in a prompt, but this causes API calls. And in case you want to let the agent choose based on a different event, for example, you say only get the current open positions if an inquiry came in, otherwise please decline. You can let the agent choose to do the get open positions or not. And this is what I will demo here in today's video. I will show you another one where we have a more advanced version where we are actually doing the tool choosing. And here we are just going to use one tool or open AI called some functions. So let's dive now into exactly how it works inside make. So in make, we are having here the message assistant module. And as we are choosing this message assistant, we have here our assistant. You can also use the map, fun map functionality and you're gonna see here it's the assistant from previously. And the function we define is to get open positions. And this function's schema is behind this webhooks URL. Now let's get a bit deeper into this because this is where it gets nitty gritty and you might lose the context. So in here, you are going to define a function. You can use AI to generate this based on a prompt. And this functionality expects a JSON. And now what you can do is you can say, okay, you get this definition back from a webhook with a webhook response. And this is how it works. I would recommend you basically using this tool, this text aggregator to pull in all your open job positions. Let's run this once. Yeah, so we have here a multitude of open job positions, and then we respond this jobs body. What I did, I run this once, and then I'm pasting it into the generate to let the generate identify my JSON schema that I need, okay? Because this is fixed, but what's not fixed is actually the title. And doing building this manually, this is something that's really tricky and prone to error. So I would recommend you do this, run the swans, get the data out of the text aggregator, put it in your JSON response, what you will respond to OpenAI play, Playground or Assistant, and in your initial version, you do this once. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. So we can really show you how this works. You go here, we're gonna run this, and you see it's it's really, really fast on make. And then you can say, okay, build the function, the function based on this JSON. Okay, and you would paste it and create it. I'm not gonna do it because it might now break some structure or so, but this should basically work. In case there's some smaller errors, you gotta try and error bit and debug it. For demo purposes, I'm not gonna do it right now because it might actually break my current schema. So then you would save this schema in here. And once you save the schema, it's ready to be called. So what you can do now is you can go here, you can say, hey, this is basically the URL. You can choose if you think it's relevant to choose, like I said, you get an inquiry from somebody who's interested working at your company. You saw previously the one probably with a tally form where we are using a contact form example. And this contact form example could also be an HR. I want to work here initial uh, job interview. And in there, you could send along this, what right now is hard coded as a prompt. And once you did this, 
you can of course send it along to OpenAI and you can let OpenAI choose if it should call the URL or if it maybe is not a match and not at all choose the URL to check out open positions in case there are open positions returned that actually match now with the score, we could reply to the initial applicant. Hello, we found a senior backend engineer role in our current open positions. And you could, of course, provide more data to it. You have the Airtable ID and with the Airtable ID, you could get the record from Airtable. And you could, of course, offer this position to the applicant. So, and now we're going to do another one where we are going to dive into how tool choosing in the assistant uses. So you can actually build really complex agents, but this is in another video. Thanks for tuning in.